in the center, a hot pepper. We put the marigolds around the sides to keep the bugs away. Purple basil, lots of tomatoes on the tomato plants. But they need to drink pretty much every day to really get established. Over here we have watermelon. If they're gonna wow. live through it, three watermelon plants. Oh. And red romaine, that's grown since Friday I put it in. The green romaine. This is cucumber. Wow. We have cucumber and zucchini and yellow squash over here. Wow. Started from seeds. We hope the bugs, half of my sunflower seeds are And with these little things here? The big ones here? Oh, zucchini and, I have zucchini and yellow squash. Oh, okay. This is just a ground cover we had out in front. What's the purpose of the pipe? It keeps the water, the excess water that may be collected from the rain, mm -hmm. will water below there. Oh, great. It'll drain out on the bottom. There's some drainage on the bottom. You can see the water going down in the ground. Uh -huh. It'll drain it out. It keeps it from supposedly from overwatering and underwatering. Oh. Earth box is what they're called. But the red and the green romaine have grown since Friday. We could collect up enough for a little salad, maybe for Clip, yeah. on Friday. Add some peppers to it. Half of our yeah. sunflower seed or sunflower plants are these were zinnias. They never did much at all. I have to figure out. Them. We took a lot of the compost out, added to the dirt over here. Uh -huh. But a lot of the sunflowers are have already been eaten, been eaten by some little visitor. Half of them are gone now. I don't know. Somebody's enjoying them. Uh -oh. But I hope a few of them will last. The clematis has grown since last week too. It needs a oh, lot of sun. Really I need to tie up these flowers back here. But they definitely needed a drink of water today. I'm going to put some wood chips around to keep the moisture in the ground because it's going to be in the 80s all week long. The snapdragons are coming back, but we need to tie them up on the fence so they can go straight up. Mm. Our little visitor is not over here. Yeah, I don't see him. But I'm sure Are some you? of the... Oh, that, I'm looking at... I thought that was the hose. Maybe that's not him. There's still the skins back there where he, where he and maybe a friend or two or a family member have shed their skin. Mm -hmm. And what are we growing in this? I'm just going to get this ready. I'm going to bring some more topsoil, clean out the grass scrappies, and mm -hmm. maybe put some hostas in here. Ooh, I have some nice. I need to transplant, you know, I need to separate a little bit from my house. But we could put flowers in the middle of them if we could figure out something that yeah. would grow back here yeah, without a whole good. lot of attention. We've got some hanging baskets we can prepare, or maybe some bird feeders. But everything is so dry. Every day it's going to need to drink a lot of for a week or two, probably. Mm -hmm. I wish Joe Mallory was here, or Cliff, Larry, Calvin, somebody, David, help me water out here. They look a little shabby right at the moment, but we just need to tie them up with some twine and help them grow tall. Pretty soon we're going to have gladiolus and all these bulbs we put in the ground. Yeah. Maybe I will even clean off the fence yeah. for the occasion. We got roses. Lots of roses back here. Yeah, we're going to pull up the hose. Huh? It'll come. Mm -hmm. My drink is starting to bloom. You have these pretty purple and white flowers. Oh, those are You can bring in on the table and you yeah. get back on track. I'm still looking to figure out some kind of flowers to put in the raised bed that we cleaned out over here. Yeah. We have knockout roses over here, yellow, red, pink, white rose bush. Uh, this one needs, yeah. needs some attention. That's how much it's grown since wow. since March when we trimmed it back. Wow. All this is new growth here.
we'll get some more flower soils. Time goes. The knockout roses over here. You kind of wonder why they call them knockout, but I think it's because they they have such a long blooming period. Mm. They can bloom probably close to six months through the spring into the fall. A little miniature pink rose bush. Yeah. But Diana and I, Diana and I trimmed them all back in March. But all of that, what? Three, four feet long has grown since then. Wow. I need some of the participants to give me some ideas of maybe Cliff and Joe what we can put in the flower garden back here. Yeah. We trim that tree a little bit there, we get some more sunshine on the on the raised bed. <laughs> it was such a mess for the longest time. We had all kinds of little scrappy ground cover in there. But now I've added some topsoil, put some compost in there, stirred it all up, and we're ready to put some flowers in there. Yeah. And anybody who wants to come and water when we get back on track here is certainly welcome to come out and water. Enjoy a little peace and quiet. You might even bring a table and some chairs over here. We can sit over here and have a nice little quiet area when we need a little a little break from the people. That sounds great. Okay.